In this video, we will provide the solution to question number 11 for practice exam 2 for math 1210. We are given the function g of x is sine of x. And we are allowed to assume that the derivative of g of x is cosine of x. Many of us might be able to prove that for other methods, but you can take that for granted. The derivative of sine is cosine. That's given to you. So with that knowledge, we're asked to find the equation of the, of the line tangent to the graph at x equals pi thirds. We have to write this in slope-intercept form. So when it comes to tangent lines, it's important to remember the following equation. The tangent line will be given by y minus g of a is equal to g prime at a times x minus a. The tangent line will always have that equation, probably worth putting on your note card. In which case, then we have to do specifically, we're going to take y minus, well, our, our value here is pi thirds. So we're going to take g of pi thirds, that's sine of pi thirds, like so. Then we get g prime of pi thirds. Well, the derivative, as we were told, is cosine. So we're going to get cosine of pi thirds. And then we times that by x minus pi thirds, like so. So then we have to evaluate either by memory or using your calculator. We're going to evaluate sine of pi thirds and cosine of pi thirds. Sine of pi thirds, pi thirds, of course, is 60 degrees. This will be the square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of pi thirds is 1 half. So this gives us an equation of the tangent line. We have to put it in slope-intercept form. So it's going to need to look like y equals mx plus b. Basically, we need to solve for y in this setting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the 1 half through. This gives us 1 half x minus pi sixth, like so. And then we're going to add the root 3 over 2 to both sides of the equation. So it cancels here, and then we have to add it over here. For which, as these are two irrational numbers, leave it in exact form. Don't write it as a numerical approximation. Just leave it exact. Uh, this will give us y is equal to, you can write this as either 1 half x or if you prefer, you can write it as x over 2. Um, it doesn't make much of a difference to me. It's the same number either way. I'm going to leave it as 1 half x just to make the slope more prominent. And so then you're going to get negative pi over 6 plus root 3 over 2. For which that right there is the y-intercept, the combination. That would be it. If we want to write them together, we'll have to find a common denominator. So between 2 and 6, the least common multiple will be 6. So I could times the second fraction by 3 over 3. This would then give us y equals 1 half x. Uh, plus 3 root 3 minus pi all over 6. So if, again, you want to write as a single y uh, intercept, that's perfectly fine. Now, I want to mention the last step is not absolutely necessary. Uh, writing it together as a common fraction, although is legitimate, it's not necessary for one like this. I would encourage you, though, not to write a numerical approximation. The instructions for this exam do say to leave answers exact unless instructed to round, which no instructions given on this question.